Well, hello there, been a while since our last tutorial. Today we had a problem in the filter flow, so we decided to share our solution. Sponge filters are renowned for their mechanical and biological filtration capabilities. Here's a general guideline to help you determine when to clean your sponge filter. The frequency of cleaning your sponge filter depends on various factors. Water flow reduction, visible accumulation of debris, decreased bubble production, regular maintenance schedule, water quality issues, odor or poor water clarity, visual inspection. Before we dive into the cleaning process, gather the following materials. Sponge filter obviously, buckets or containers. Aquarium water, dechlorinated water prepared in advance. Spare sponge in case one needs to be changed. Better have one primed on hand. A gentle brush. A plastic bag, zip bag. Safety first. Ensure all electrical equipment in your tank, including the filter and the heater, is switched off. By using your siphon as in regular water change, siphon some aquarium water in a bucket. By following these simple steps, you'll not only enjoy crystal clear water but also provide your aquatic companions with a thriving habitat they'll love to call home. Remove the sponge filter, try bringing the plastic bag in the aquarium water, and gently detach the sponge filter from its placement in the tank directly in the plastic bag. While the sponge is sitting in the plastic bag with aquarium water, squeeze the sponge multiple times until you feel the pressure is reduced, this will dislodge the debris. Using a bucket or container filled with tank water you've prepared in advance, rinse the sponge thoroughly. Avoid using tap water, as chlorine and other chemicals can harm beneficial bacteria. If the sponge is particularly dirty or has tough spots, or algae, use a gentle brush to scrub away debris. Be careful not to damage the sponge's structure. Carefully place the clean sponge filter back into its original position in the tank. Prime the filter by squeezing the sponge gently to remove any trapped air. This helps maintain proper water flow. Finally, turn on all electrical equipment in your tank, including the filter and the heater. Remember that every aquarium is unique and the frequency of sponge filter cleaning may vary. Thank you for watching. You can read the full article using the link provided in the description.